Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about different things you should try to avoid doing in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. One big mistake is to start questing at the same area as everyone else. Therefore, I find it way better to swap to another location in the two starting zones. When you do this, you also have less competition with the quest monsters and objects, and this will make you level a bit faster. I've even made a video with a lot of different locations in Howling Fjord and Berean Fundra where you can start questing. You can find this in the description below the video. For those of you that would like to get some PvP epic items a lot faster, then I recommend you to always do the daily battleground quest. When you complete this, you're rewarded with 25 arena points. You can then save the points for when you reach level 80, and by that time, you can then purchase either the blue PvP set, or maybe even hateful or deadly gladiator items. Another big mistake is to not do the arena quest in Suldrak. This will reward you with a lot of experience and gold and the last quest will even reward you with a blue weapon. You can start this at level 75, and because there's going to be quite a few quests before you can get the blue item, then you're also granted a lot of experience and gold. If you don't like these weapons, then you can always wait to level 80 and do the quest. By doing this, you will also be granted even more gold. I see many leveling guides recommending people to just quest in the open world to reach level 80. I recommend people to also remember to do one of each dungeons. The reason for this is because in all of the dungeons there will be different quests that you can do, and sometimes they will even reward you with a decent blue item, and on top of this, these quests will also grant you a high amount of experience. By the time that you reach level 74, you can pick up a quest that will take you to Dalaran. If you complete this quest, you can no longer pick this up. So what I recommend you to do is to pick up the quest, go to Dalaran with the tailor port, pick up the flight point, and maybe even change your hearthstone. When you have done these two things, you can abandon the quest, and the next time you're in the open world where you find a teleporter, then you can teleport instantly to Dalaran. If you complete the quest, you can no longer talk to these NPCs. If you would like to know about all the locations of these teleporters, then you can find them in the description below the video. As you're leveling up your character, it's also important to quest in a lot of the different zones. When you do this, you grant reputation with the different factions. This is going to be important, because you can purchase the different repetition tabards by the time that you reach friendly with the faction. So if there's a specific faction where you would like to get the epic items from, then make sure to focus on this faction in the beginning, and at level 80 you can then use the tabard and do dungeons to grant even more reputation. When you get to Northrend to start leveling in either Berean Thundra or Howling Fjord, then you can swap between these two zones if one of them is super crowded. So in Howling Fjord you can go to this location, where you can also pick up a flight point. But what you need to do is simply just to get on this boat. This boat will then take you to Dragonblight, where you can find a connection with another boat to Berean Thundra. When you're here, make sure to also pick up the flight point before you take the next boat. But that's an easy way to swap between the two starting zones. And now you also have the flight points, so you no longer need to wait for the boat, you can simply just start flying. So make sure to take advantage of these boats and pick up the flight points to save a lot of travel time. If you have recently discovered this channel, then I recommend you to check out all my other videos. There will be so many tips and tricks for Wrath of the Lich King, gold making, class guides, and a lot of other stuff. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing day. Peace.